The Starfield Animal Husbandry facility is a little confusing, so let's break it down. Just follow this guide step by step, and by the time you finish, you'll understand how everything works. For this whole thing to work, you will need one skill point in zoology and one skill point in botany. Next, we need to explore a planet and find a plant that gives fiber. This planet also needs to have water. You'll also need to find a creature we'd like to farm. In this example, I find this creature that gives toxin. I would suggest starting on Jemison to get the basics down. I'll explain how you can do other planets later. So, we need to run around and scan the fiber plant and the creature until we reach 100% scan. Just open your scanner and then press the interact button on the creature and plant until it reaches 100%. We'll need to scan multiple of this species. It won't take long though. Now, we need to find an outpost location that has water in the area. You can see this in the top left when you're placing the outpost for the first time. So we can place down the outpost. After that, we'll need to place down a water extractor. In fact, we're going to need three for this build. So one, two, three. Now, we need to put down our animal facility, which can be found in the builders section. So let's put that down here. We are then going to need two greenhouses. So let's put down two greenhouses here. The greenhouses are going to produce fiber and the water extractors are going to produce water, which can then be used to power up this animal husbandry fa facility. As you can see in the top left here, we need power three, water one, fiber two. So before we start connecting everything up, let's go to these uh, outposts here and choose what we want them to create. So in this case, we're gonna select this console and we want to create toxin. There we go. As you can see, it says currently built. You can click on it to make sure it's right. Then we need to go to each of these two greenhouses. And once again, there is a console here. We need to select that and select fiber currently built. There we go. We need to go to this other one up here too. And once again, click on the door and select fiber. There we go. Now we need to go back into the build menu, go back up. Now, as you can see, we need 24 power in the bottom. So let's do that first. We need a bunch of solar arrays. Let's just put them down out of the way. They don't need to connect to anything. Power is the only thing that you don't need to connect. However, everything else does need to connect. So the way we're going to connect this up is by going into the modify mode first. And then we need to output, use the create output link when hovering over each thing. So follow me carefully here. We have three water extractors. We need to create one output link for one greenhouse. Uh, the next water extractor needs to have an output link to the other greenhouse. And the third water extractor, which is here, needs to go to the animal husbandry facility. Now, as we can see in the top left, all three things are now reaching their power and water requirements, which is great. The greenhouses are now working. They're outputting fiber but the animal husbandry facility is not yet outputting the toxin, which is from the creature we scanned. And this is because it still needs fiber. And we can do that by creating an output link from the greenhouse and attaching it to here. So we have two greenhouses so that the fiber can be produced. And there we go. In the top left, you can see now the resources are being met and this thing is going to start producing toxin for us. Now we want somewhere for this toxin to go. There are many different ways to do this, but to begin with, the easiest thing to do is to go to storage and put down a transfer container. Now we want to create one final output link and connect it to this transfer container. Now all of the resources that are left over, including the toxin and maybe even some extra fiber if there's any, will go to here, which we can then we don't even need to access this thing. Later on, we can just access it from our inventory. Now I'm just gonna show you how it works in the background by placing down a bench and sleeping and we'll be able to see all of the resources being outputted to here. So right now we only have one toxin, but if we go here and just quickly put down a bed and then sleep here just to pass the time. Now we have all of our resources, look at all that toxin. So that's how you use the animal husbandry item. Now you may be wondering, what happens if you have a planet that doesn't have fiber? And that's gonna happen a lot. So in that case, what you really want to do is you're going to want to go to one of these 
interplanetary cargo links. This intersystem cargo link will allow you to basically transfer all of your fiber from the greenhouse and then transfer that to any planet on the system. So you're going to want to set down a nice fiber facility on Jemison where you can produce a bunch of fiber and then you'll be able to send that to other planets with this item here. Hopefully that's useful. If you want more information on how this works, there's a video on screen now.